you're now faced with how could you explain the survival of this, the pristine survival mm. of this, not only for so long, but in very unpristine conditions. Mm. And so then the controversy has been, how do you explain it? Mm -hmm. And if you read some of the literature, there's almost like desperation of, because they recognized what the implications of this could be. Now, some people would claim, well, it means nothing because we know how old they are and therefore it just means it survives somehow, big deal. But how do you know how old they are? Well, you use methods, supposed methods of dating. Well, this is a method of dating. The tissue itself can't be discounted as part of a method sure. of dating. So mm -hmm. why do you say that doesn't count, but this does count? Well, it's all the paradigm drives your conclusions. Mm -hmm. The paradigm is it has to be old. Therefore, methods that give us an old fossil are what we choose. Something that doesn't give us an old fossil, like tissue, we have to reject or explain away. Mm -hmm. At least to me, and I, of course I'm not a microbiologist, but I think most people uh, would say, well, that, that just seems reasonable to think that maybe these are not that old. Clearly, this is in violation of the yeah. dating process. It challenges the entire dating process. Mm -hmm. If the fossils of dinosaurs have been dated incorrectly, which I would say this is clear evidence they have, then it's very likely the fossils of any organism been dated incorrectly, and therefore then the geologic agents themselves are incorrect. What you're saying is that if you pull out the notion of a long period of time, uh, you're pulling out a major foundation uh, for the conventional paradigm. Absolutely. In fact, time is the critical component for evolution. If you're going to say that a simple cellular system became a multicellular system that then became fish, and the fish then jumped up on land and grew legs and started breathing air, and then that creature grew feathers and wings and started flying. So if you give us time, we'll claim to account for all of this massive change of organisms, but we gotta have the time.